but some men had other things on their mind. <laughs> Up, I think I might have just fallen yeah. in love with Gareth Gay. <laughs> Please welcome the woman with the most talked about, how can I say talked about chest in Britain? <laughs> Holly Willoughby. <laughs> Get sick of it all, really. Oh, you? it's been the weirdest time of my life. <laughs> it's been so strange to have something about myself spoken about so much, and it's just been, it's just been. It's not as because you've done that series before. I mean, you've been doing it several years. It's suddenly it's this year. It's third series. Yeah. I've never worn anything different. I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened that this year suddenly. Somebody picked up on something and it just ran and ran and ran. But I noticed oh, I in the second week you didn't come on with a polo neck, though. You know, you could have... <laughs> I never, I've always worn the same stuff, you know. I think, do you know what I think it is? I think it's that people are so not used to seeing curvy size 12 women on the telly yeah. that suddenly a natural girl comes out with, you know... It was an hourglass figure. It is an hourglass figure. Still is. Yes, it <laughs> was past tense. But clearly, I mean, it was. It took us all to the wire this time, didn't it? With with Suzanne Shaw and Chris oh. Fountain. I mean, you couldn't really have put a fag paper between them, as they say. No, you? no it was good. it was amazing. The final was just. It's one of the most exciting things I've ever been involved with. I think it had everything that makes a great TV show. And I was so happy for Suzanne because so many people were saying, oh, it's a one-horse race with Chris Fountain. Mm. And yet, you know, on that night, she was the best. And she was just truly, truly remarkable. Ever been tempted yourself to, to get on the ice and do that bit of it? I, mean, I bet they've put it to you, haven't they? Well, Philip and I said that maybe had Series 1, we'd have been secretly practising. We might have been quite good. But I still think we're probably kidding, kidding ourselves. Because they get, by the end of it, quite proficient and also much more daring. They turn to athletes by the end of it. It's very strange. Their whole mindset completely changes and they're kind of focused and they get hurt but they strap themselves up and they just go for it. And, you know, Kieran Bracken, he's now a professional. Yeah, and doing the, the tour, yeah. the nationwide tour. Yeah, exactly. But then, you know, he was a rugby player and with a pretty good physique to start with. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now, you're doing something else as well. You did something else. You, you were standing in Trafalgar Square taking a shower, and I missed it. Oh, I was not taking a shower. Oh, I was told. Not, I got very excited when they told me. I was standing next to a shower, but no, oh. I was fully clothed. <laughs> 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 Great name for Dash. myself. So what um, was the aim of this? Well, it's, a, it's this Be Water Wise campaign with Ariel, and um, basically what we're trying to promote is um, for people to try and have a three-minute shower, because the national average of people having showers is actually seven minutes. Oh, in Nick Ferrari's case, 48. Well, there you go. <laughs> no, he's got, he's got his foot naughty. in three minutes. And for every minute that you're in the shower, you use nine litres of water. And that means if everybody was to switch down and have a three-minute shower, you would save six billion litres of water a day, which is enough to fill 6,000 Olympic swimming pools. And that's just in one day. So if you imagine that over a week, a month, a year. So basically, to help people out, if you go onto the Aerial website, which is aerial.co.uk, you can pick up one of these little timers. It's a three minute timer and then you can just challenge yourself and see if you can have so it's got a sucker on it so you stick it on your shower so you stick it onto your shower wall, and yeah. that's for you oh thank so you, you. Can practice i shall stick it on my shower wall tomorrow morning <laughs> and think of holly there's Willoughby. a thought <laughs> <laughs> and, if, <laughs> and if i can have a three minute shower no i'm not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> fine so that's world water i've completely lost my way now <laughs> yes no now, they Sorry. tell me, they tell me that you're, you're a wanted woman in the States. Is this true? Well, I've read this too, and like all of these fabulous stories that I wish were true, Alan, I have no idea. I'd like to think so. Um, you know, I love living and working in the UK, and if I could stay here, it is my chosen, mm. it's my choice. I love it here. I love being at home. Um, but, you know, if a job came up and I went over there for a couple of months, then so be it. But my, my heart lies here. Yeah, because what are your ambitions? I mean, you look at people like Kat Dealey, like Tess yeah. Daly, you know, there's a certain, you know, without being rude to you, a certain style of glamorous presenter who can do the job. I really resent this word auto-cutie that they use. Yeah. Uh, because people who do it well, you don't know that they're eating it at all. I mean, it's a, it's a skill, it's a job. You do yeah. it well, as, as do the others. Do you see that as the way forward? Or would you like Denise Van Outen go into theatre or film? Or... Oh, no, no, no. You um, don't see yourself acting? Is what I, no, presenting 
presenting is what I love, and I've been doing, you know, I've been doing it for 10 years now. I know it's only been the last year that I've sort of, people have suddenly realised who I am, but I've been doing it for 10 years, it's what I love. Um, and, you know, I'm doing my dream show now. Mm. I've just got to stay there. Because <laughs> people always say to me, oh, what do you want to do next? You know, you're doing so well. And it's like, well, I just want to stay in the business for as long as I possibly can. What do you do in the gaps, though? Because, I mean, you know, Dancing on Ice isn't going to be back for a while. Well, yeah. I mean, last year I spent the whole year setting up singletons with Fern. We were mm. doing Holly and Fern dating. Yeah, yeah of yeah. course. And um, Street Mate, I was doing that. So this year, there's a few little bits on the horizon, but it's just a case of... You see, I worried a bit about that. I worried for you, too. Because I know you've got, well, you got a camera crew kind of sort of lurking in the background, but two girls like you and Fern Cotton going down the street and just button only people and saying, Yeah, how do you fancy? I mean, it's a bit oh, we scary, can isn't ourselves, it? me and Fern. Can you? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Yes. What do you, I mean, do you get guys now who see you on, on skate, Dancing on Ice and then come up to you and so on, or does it put them off? When you're as famous as you are, would it, for instance, there be, would be harder to, to get Well, guy? men as a rule now, I think, are completely hopeless. I, I mean, I was... Yeah. No, it's true, it's true. You're wonderful, but you're hopelessly wonderful. Um, but they, they, kind of, <laughs> they kind of don't do dating anymore. Men don't ask women out. There's this real... We need to go back to that kind of real old-fashioned courting. Hang on, where hang on, what's going on? It Men don't ask women out? No, they don't. They really don't. They go out in groups, or they go to gigs, or they go out with their mates, and then they kind of Facebook each other or text each other. And it's rubbish, and it's really damaging our dating So culture. how did you meet your husband? I had to, well, I met him through work, which is a very good way, but I had to basically say, hello, I'm here, look at me. I didn't, he didn't... Come up and I think if Holly me. Willoughby and come up to me and I'd been singing, she said, hello, I'm here looking at me. I would have been looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> there would have been no encouragement needed. So you get the men of Britain to start going out and asking girls Absolutely. for a date. Absolutely, men, they need to change. Yes. Definitely. Would you? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. What a shame. No, never mind. It's been great to talk to you. Thank Good luck you. with your Waterwise campaign. Thank I've, you. Thank I promise you. to stick this in my shower. Please do, even if you can just cut it down by one minute. Okay. I'll cut it down a minute for you. Okay, thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. <laughs> Do it in two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ollie Willoughby. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's it for today. Tomorrow, the final show in the series. Oh.